name of my company was Island and it was very insular in, in truth you know uh, it was um, it started off just you know, doing Jamaican music and then I was I was really either recording either in the studio or on the road pretty much all the time on the artists that uh, were signed to Ireland the ones that I worked with some were signed who I did very little work with. I just more released their records, marketed their records. And some I worked with um, quite a lot in the studio and some I worked with on the road. So that's really what I was doing all the time. That's why I think Ireland was a little sort of outside of the, of the, we had different kind of music. Our music wasn't, uh, didn't, <laughs> It wasn't really the same as the sort of majors were putting out, so we were a little outside the, the run of things. Ireland had very few number one hits, very, very few, you know. So we were much more artist-driven, album-driven, long-term driven, you know. So that, that was my way of working. So I don't know that that would work today because it's, it's so much of a singles business in the digital world. And so I, I, I haven't quite figured it out. I guess probably the most memorable one was um, was Cat Stevens. Cat Stevens was an island, uh, and um, his second album was called Tea for the Tillerman. And um, he, he was somebody who I signed and I suggested a producer for him, but I never went into the studio, never heard anything from them until it was finished. So. Um, so when it was finished, they came to play it for me. And hearing that when the first time I heard that was just unbelievable because every track on 5-1 was fantastic. And then I thought, well, maybe the dodgy tracks are gonna be on side two. And then the first track on side two, in those days there was a side one on side two, was uh, Where Will the Children Play? An incredible song. And every track on that album was just you know, perfect. Music is never going away, never, ever, ever will it. There's no question about that. And, um, you know, sometimes the, the music, if you're approaching it from a music business point of view, it seems all doom and gloom, but there's so much music being made and it's so, um, the ability to make music is so much more accessible than it used to be a long time ago. And, the, and there's, good and, there's good and bad on it. It means that people who are not musicians can make music. Well, that's, 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 that's good and, and, and bad in a way, you know. Um, but it's, there's, a, there's more opportunities, that's for sure. 